Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in today. Today we are going to be uh, responding to an email from a viewer and this is in response to the video I did titled How I Do $250,000 a Month Selling Alibaba and AliExpress Products on eBay and Amazon. Um, I don't know if you guys realize this, but I probably spent a good hour or two out of my day responding to viewer emails, helping people with issues with eBay, PayPal, Amazon, how to do Amazon FBA, answering questions. I think I'm going to start, instead of responding to people individually, making videos addressing this stuff so I can help out a lot of people as opposed to having to, to respond to people one at a time. Uh, but I really do appreciate you guys emailing me and things like that. It's I've been on YouTube for years and never have I really had people like interacting with me on a, on a high level. Um, I really do enjoy connecting with you guys. I enjoy working with you guys. So please keep the emails coming, keep the comments coming. Uh, I'm more than happy to help you guys out. And as long as people are interested in watching and sharing my videos and stuff, I'm going to keep doing this. So without further ado, let's get into this email. So, uh, hey, I saw your video on YouTube and I need some help. Maybe you can make a video of what I'm about to ask you and you can post it on Fiverr as a helpful gig or you can just send it to me or post it on YouTube. Either way, I believe this might be helpful for a lot of people. Uh, he says, uh, one, I live in Chicago. If I want to list an item for sale on eBay from AliExpress, what is the process? I mean, are people going to see I live in Chicago, but the item is coming from somewhere else? And also, is it going to take long to ship? What is the whole process of setting this up step by step? So I believe uh, what he's asking is, or what he's kind of angling towards is he's wanting to drop ship. So he's in Chicago. He wants to put Chicago as his item location. He doesn't plan on holding inventory, though. He plans on ordering from China and having the item shipped directly to his buyer. Can you do that? Yes, of course you can do that. Um, that's called drop shipping. The added bonus of that is you're not sitting on inventory that you might get stuck with. You're waiting till you get a sale and then you're going to order it. Um, I don't by any means mean to deter you from this, um, but keep in mind when you ship items from China or from AliExpress or whatever, it is probably going to take at least two weeks for it to get to the buyer. A lot of eBay buyers are impatient and you may get a lot of people like, oh, where's my tracking? Where's my... The other thing, a lot of this stuff is sent through what's called a China packet, which doesn't really have good tracking. Um, I have enough headaches trying to explain to people that first class mail or even priority mail isn't true tracking, it's delivery confirmation. It's not necessarily up to date like FedEx tracking. Um, so if you send somebody a tracking number for a China packet, they're gonna say, hey, nothing's showing up. Are you really sending my item? You haven't shipped it. You know, it's all these headaches. So um, it's not a bad way to break into eBay or Amazon. Uh, you might, this is going to hurt your sales, but you might want to list that the item is shipping from China. Otherwise, you might want to give yourself like a three to five day uh, packaging period. That'll buy you a little bit of time and then have the item shipped. But realize anytime you're using somebody else to fulfill your orders, your business is out of your hands. If that supplier doesn't ship it, you know, the buyer is not going to be mad at them. The buyer is going to be mad at you because you're the one that took their money. So um, I'm not a huge fan of drop shipping, eBay, Amazon, and PayPal though they don't openly say so. Um, I mean, they say they're okay with drop shipping, but if they find out you're drop shipping, there's a good chance your account's gonna get closed. Uh, so for all those reasons, I'm not a huge fan of drop shipping. If you are gonna drop ship, do high dollar items where it's least, at least it's gonna be worth your while. A lot of people like doing this Amazon to eBay drop shipping where they buy something from Amazon, send it as a gift to their eBay customer. I'm not a huge fan of that strategy, but that's another possibility. With AliExpress, I like to focus on small, light, easy to ship items. So I mean, just for example, like in my recent, in the video this guy's referring to, which is a how I do $250,000 a month selling, blah, blah, blah. Um, most of the products that I listed are like under a dollar, like 50 cents, 60 cents. So really, even if you order 20 pieces, it's gonna cost you like 15 bucks. I think I just got, uh, just as a sample order, but I think I got 20 paracord bracelets for like $9. Like really, like you should be able to invest $9 in the inventory. If the stuff doesn't sell, you're out $9, whatever, pass them out to your friends or something. But uh, um, I try to focus on cheaper items where it's really not going to be that big of a barrier to entry to actually order some inventory. So that's kind of addressing that first point. Um, secondly, he says, uh, how or what tools are you using to see an item's rank and how much sells per week? I use a number of tools. Uh, Terapeak is one of the obvious ones. Um, it's not that expensive to sign up for. Um, I think there might be a difference between a uh, uh, personal and business account or accounts or whatever. Um, but I use Terapeak. There's like two or three other uh, software programs that I use as well. Um, and also I had a buddy that kind of wrote a custom program or a script for me that scrapes and pulls a lot of this data. So some of this stuff is kind of proprietary to me and, and things that I've actually had people design and build for me. 
other ones are our programs like Terapeak as well. Um, I also offer uh, a service on Fiverr.com where I can pull these types of reports for you. So let's say you're like, you know, I'm thinking about selling this really cool professional microphone. I can get it on AliExpress for $26. I see people on eBay and Amazon are selling it for over $100. Uh, can you tell me if this is a worthwhile topic? And I'll pull some data for you. I can tell you how much is sold in a week. I can show you the top 20 competitors and how much they're selling. Um, I can tell you the best days and times to end your listings when most people are buying, the best keywords to put in your listing, and a whole lot of other great data. So, um, if you know, sign up for Terapeak, Google, there's some free tools out there, although they're not that great. Or I'll typically do three reports for you for one gig, which costs you five bucks, so it's not a bad deal. Um, you know, hit me up on either via email or you can find me on Fiverr, Fiverr.com backslash rules for rebels. Uh, so that's number two, how do I see and find that data, whatever. And number three, by the way, I've been on eBay for a year now selling clothes. It's been good to me, but it's time to move on. It's getting repetitive and I need some, and I need something need. I think you meant to say I need something new. Um, you know, I hate clothing. Um, I used to sell a lot of clothing because I used to be into storage auctions and that's the majority of what I find in storage auctions. Uh, but clothing, you know, you get a lot of returns because a lot of people buy stuff, you know, I don't like how it fits or I don't like the color. Or, oh, there's a loose thread here. Um, some people buy stuff just to wear to one event and then return it to you. So I'm not a huge fan of clothing. Also, to, to really do a good job of listing clothing, you really have to be like, okay, wrist to shoulder is 26 inches, you know, uh, chest to chest is 30. You know, it's just a lot of work to record, to put up in the listing. Um, that said, there are some good good clothing and accessories on uh, AliExpress that you can really mark up and make some great margins off of. Um, I'm not a huge fan of clothes, but like I've, like I've said, I think I've told you guys on other videos, I really like small, light, easy to ship items um, and cheap items too. So um, I've made two or three videos giving you guys five or 10 products uh, that are hot selling items. Um, I'll try to put out some more videos giving you guys some other suggestions. But I think I've kind of given you guys a good idea of the types of items I like to aim for. Um, I started researching Alibaba last week, so decided to sign in. While I was registering, and asked me to put a valid company name, so that killed my hopes of buying there. Don't worry about that. For company name, either put NA or... Sorry, my dog's going crazy. Either put NA or just put your name as a company name. You do not have to have a company name to buy off Alibaba. You don't have to have an EIN number or anything like that. Just sign up. If they ask you for a company name, just put your own name, and, and that's more than fine. Uh, so, you know, you can do Alibaba. Uh, they told me I can still buy there at wholesaler.alibaba.com, even though I do not have a company name. You don't need a company name to, uh, to buy an Alibaba. I have one account for my company. I also have a personal account with just my name, and I buy off there all the time, no problems at all. Uh, so don't worry about the company name. If you do start selling more, it would probably be worthwhile to set up uh, Excuse me. Uh, set up a <coughs> set up either a uh, DBA, which is doing business as, where you can just go to your local county clerk or court, you know, courthouse, whatever. You know, my name's Tim Smith, but I'm gonna be selling as, you know, um, the fire starter, survival, you know, whatever it is. Uh, you can do a DBA really easily for like probably twenty five bucks. Uh, it may be worthwhile to set up an LLC. Uh, you'll be a sole member LLC, but there's some added tax benefits and things like that. Uh, he goes on to ask, what is better, AliExpress or Wholesaler.Alibaba? And if I decide to get a company name, where do I get one and how much is it? Okay, I jumped ahead a little bit. Uh, don't, I, you know, be honest with you, I don't even know what Wholesaler.Alibaba is. Just use Alibaba.com. You don't need a company name. As far as getting a company name, I kind of just touched on that. But uh, you can go to your courthouse and set up a DBA doing business as. Or most e-commerce isn't that risky, but I mean, if you're going to be selling like nutritional supplements, or anything that somebody's going to ingest into their body, uh, you're going to want to set up an LLC for protection. For some products, you may even want to get product liability insurance. Um, like I said, if it's something that somebody can ingest, or if you were selling like hoverboards where someone might bust their head open, that'd be another thing to get uh, product liability insurance. But um, for company name, I would say for starters, just go set up a, a DBA at, at your local county courthouse. Um, it's probably going to be $5, maybe $25. Sometimes they'll make you run an ad in a newspaper. Other times they won't. It depends on your county. Um, or you can set up an LLC. Uh, if you do go the route of setting up an LLC, some good states are Nevada, Wyoming, South Carolina, uh, and Delaware are, are kind of my top ones. Um, how much is it to get registered? Different states have different filing fees, but the states I mentioned have pretty low filing fees. 
Uh, some of those states have no state sales tax, which, again, which is another added bonus. Uh, thanks, man. By the way, my name is, I really want to stop selling clothes and start doing what you're doing. Maybe you can help me to help me how. Okay, so uh, hopefully this video helped some of you other guys out there. I know, you know, this guy here isn't the only one who was asking me these questions. I've had a number of people asking for clarification on some of these things. Um, so I'm going to send this video to this guy who asked the question as well as post it for all you guys as well. If you guys have any specific questions or want me to address, you know, certain more intricate aspects of this, uh, drop me an email, rulesforrebels at gmail.com. Reach out to me at Twitter, uh, at symbol rules for rebels. Uh, leave a comment under this video, and I'd be happy to make some more follow-up videos giving you guys some more, uh, some more help or advice or answering any questions you guys have. So thanks for tuning in, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Uh, share it with your friends. If you're active on Reddit, you know, maybe you're in the Reddit Entrepreneur Forum or Entrepreneur uh, Ride Along, Alibaba, Amazon. What, you know, if you're on Reddit, share this video on Reddit, share it on social media, share it with your friends. Um, and like I said, if you guys have any questions, reach out to me. I, I try to answer and respond to, to everything you guys send me. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk to you next time.